All right, now we'll move on to goal two. Create a digital portfolio URL collection system with Google Forms and Google Sheets. You might notice that I've added a little bit more to the website. I added an action steps drop down menu. Step one, we've already done creating website. Let's move on to step two. Okay, right now I have a, a placeholder over here. This is where the video that I'm currently recording will be going, but I have included these two links. Uh, the first thing you want to do is create a copy of a Google form that I've made, and you'll do that just by clicking this icon. You'll have this little pop-up that says make a copy. Go ahead and do that. Be sure you're logged into your Google Drive. All right, and this is my copy. I've, I've got some additional instructions here, uh, some clarifications, some some best practices that you might want to use if you're using the system. After you read these and they're no longer useful to you and you don't want students seeing them, feel free to delete those. I'm going to rename this file. All right, now let's look at what we have here. Um, I'm collecting email addresses. Notice it's a required question. If I look in the settings, I want to have these settings. Collect all email responses. I'm limiting to one response per person, but the respondents can edit after they submit. That's important for later on. If you're within a school district's domain and you want to restrict this so that only people within your domain can submit responses, then you'll check this box. But I want people outside my district to get to use this, so right now I'll leave that box unchecked. I'll hit save. If I click on responses, if you're familiar with Google Forms, you know that if you click this little icon, a spreadsheet will be created for this form, but you don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to come back to my page and I want to make a copy of this sheet. It's got some formulas on it that are going to be very useful later on. Okay, and just like before, I'm going to make a copy. Okay, there we go. There's our copy. I'm going to edit the name of this file as well. All right. Um, and I've got this query sheet. That's the only thing that's on here. I've got some formulas that I'll be talking about in a little bit. And now I want to link this sheet to this form. It's pretty easy. You'll go to responses you'll click on this little menu and you want to select the response destination. And instead of creating a new spreadsheet, I want to select one that's already existing. Google does a good job of bringing back your most recent spreadsheets and that's the one I just renamed, so that's the one I'll use. Click that and click select. Now it says spreadsheet linked. And if I come back to my spreadsheet, I now have this tab that I didn't have before, form responses to, which is great because if I look at my formulas, my formulas are querying a form responses to page. You need this sheet, the collection of your form responses to be named form responses to if it isn't set up that way automatically when you make the copy like it happened in this video. Again, form responses to, our formulas say form responses to within them. And you'll notice they have all the this this hashtag REF warning on a, a lot of these cells. That's because we need to activate all these formulas. The way you activate the formulas, it's a little tedious, but you only have to do it once. You'll click on the box and you'll hit enter once and then again. I'm going to repeat that. Click on a, on a cell, hit enter once and then again. And notice instead of being blank now it says timestamp because it's referring to this cell. I'm going to go through and for all of these that say hashtag REF I'm going to activate the formulas within them by clicking on it and hitting enter twice. Be careful not to edit the, the formula.
Okay, it looks like all of the formulas are activated. Okay, one thing I want to point out about some of these names, like this says Project Skill 1, Project Skill 1 here, Project Skill 2, Project Skill 2. I need this title, this formula, to happen all the way down this column. For as many students as you think might be filling out this form in the future. So, it's pretty easy to copy um, a formula. You'll just click on this little box, this blue box, click and drag down. I'll let go and you can see the formula is copied and if it, it's referencing this cell. So that's what's getting copied all the way down. I think I'm going to have more than you know, 11 or 12 students filling this out. So I'm going to have this drop down further. For this example, I think I'll stop at about the 300 mark. If I was doing this school wide, I might drag it all the way down to, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, depending on the size of the school or how many years you wanted this system to be activated. Um, if I was just uh, one teacher at a high school or middle school, maybe I would keep it around 200 or so for a school year. And it's really up to you um, how many of these cells you want to activate. You can always come back later and drag this formula down a little further if you, you're finding that uh, rows are filling up with student participants. I'm going to do this for the other... Um, the other columns that have these this project slash skill um, header. All right. So there we go. Uh, you might notice, um, hey, this guy only has a, a place for students to put in six links right now. The way I've set this up, I, I you're right, I do have uh, only six links available. If you want to follow the pattern, if you, if you want to tinker with this a little bit on your own and look at the pattern of the formulas that I have here, you can carry these formulas out further. Um, these these filters that you see here, um, those are related to step three, and you can continue that pattern. Um, just look for the pattern and repeat it out if you want more than six. I've found um, that four or five is plenty. You don't necessarily want students to be sharing every single link to their digital portfolio pages. You, you really want them sharing maybe specific pages or highlights, and, and that's what this collection system is for, uh, letting students share uh, either the best of their best, their, their, their personal interest stuff, um, and, and, and specific projects. Speaking of specific projects, let's say um, I didn't want the first item that I collect to be called Project Skill 1. And you might think, well, I'll just, I'll just change this, this cell right here. Don't do that. In order to change what this says, you would actually not even edit this form responses page. Instead, you would go back to your original form that's feeding this spreadsheet. So if you want to change a header, you need to change the corresponding question on the form. So I've got this email address question, a, um, a period drop down, because I'm thinking of high school, middle school level here, a place for students to put in their first name, their last name, uh, a digital portfolio link, like to their home page or their about me page. And then I have this project slash skill one. Let's say I want this to be called my about me page. I want students to put in about me. Now, when I come back to my spreadsheet, notice it changed because these are talking to each other. Now I linked them. So now my form is collecting an about me URL. And that populated right over here. Let's say for project skill two, I don't want it to be called project skill two. I want it to be called 
what you're going to be doing for step three. I want it to be called My Digital Portfolio Collection System. And actually, that title is a little too long. So I want to shorten it, uh, and I'll, I'll show you why later in step three. I, I'll just shorten it to collection system. You're basically going to send me um, what you're going to do for step three right here. So I've changed that. If I come back to the spreadsheet, it's been changed here. Wonderful. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. If this is happening the same way for you, then things are on the right track. All right, so you've seen how to change titles. You can come back uh, to this later too. Uh, you can leave it how it is now after changing one link or no links. And then later in the semester, later in the year, you can come back and change something. If you change your, your mind about doing a certain project, just change the title of it here and have students submit a different kind of link. It's really up to you. But you do want to remember you're going to be editing these headers on the Google form, not on the Google spreadsheet. All right. I think that about covers step two. And actually, now that I, I say that, there's actually one very last crucial step. Right now, this spreadsheet is private, just like everything that you create with Google. You need to share it with the world, private only to me. You need to share it with the world for display purposes later on. Right now, uh, if we want students to share and only you can see it, that's not really reaching a wider audience. So I'm going to click on the share icon. And I'll go to advanced, private, only I have access. No, let's change that. I want this to be public on the web so anybody can view it. And I'll hit save. Done. There we go. Now I've finished step two. Things are ready to roll.